everyone. So happy Rise first comeback. Their song is called Talk Sax Saxy. I did try to keep myself from spoilers, but I have been seeing that some people do say that this kind of sounds like EXO a little bit, which I think that's a huge compliment. So I'm really excited for this. And with all that being said, let's watch it. Ooh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh. Run it quick, bag. Hope you shimmy down, girl, like it's click, bag. Yeah, don't you, don't you, don't you wanna ride with me? Now, in your shit, that's a gum and time. I love how they move. They have so much style with every single step. Do you wanna rock? I see you to go, so I know you're gonna go. Let's kick it. Oh. Okay, I'm trying to process the chorus because I feel like the first half it's it sounds like something different and then the second half sounds a little different. Like, uh, I'm trying to process it. I like that we do hear their vocals though and also their choreography. I gotta give props to Rise because I feel their choreographies are not easy. They make it look easy, but it is not, so. Don't stress about the pain. I love their different vocals. Vocals and the harmonies. Yes. Choreography. See, like this part? I wasn't expecting this song to lead up to this. To sound like that? And then this part? I love this part. Ooh. I love that. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna share with you my thoughts in a quick second. Wait, 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 I wanna hear that again. Yes! Let's go, let's go. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I realized that with Rice's music, it's good, but there's specific moments in the song that I'm like, I love this part and I wish I could just replay that specific part throughout the whole song. And it's when they have their vocals and the harmony or melody. I feel like with Rise, they are super talented with vocals. I haven't necessarily heard just the group with the, like raw vocals aside from you know just their their songs and whatnot like i said i do have to uh learn more about rise and i'm still in the process of that but um specifically the parts of the songs there's like and the same thing with memories and get a guitar there's moments that it's like just their vocals and with the music and it sounds so good hold on let me see i can't really fully explain it okay to prove my point so in get a guitar they have the the catchy part the get get get, get a guitar get, get 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 a guitar which is it's it's catchy you know but like my favorite moment is this part so good Oh, 
flame and like it. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah, so then, you know, the, the get, get it a guitar part is catchy, but it's just that part of the chorus is, ooh, it is still my favorite. And I've listened to get a guitar a lot of times already, but um, just, again, when it's, it's, it's the vocals and the melodies that it's just, it makes it so beautiful. Ah. Oh. Ah, it's so good. So the rap up a pub part of the song, I get it. It's catchy, you know, it, it it keeps the song, you know, memorable and stuff, but to me, the core of the song is the second part. Hold on. This part. I think that part of the chorus is like, that is my favorite part. I don't, I think it's the music mixed with their vocals and, and the, the melody that they have there. I love that part so much. We just gotta see maybe in the future if or when they release a ballad song or a song that's just maybe a cappella. we could really hear their vocals. And I'm pretty sure that there's videos out there of just the members singing just without any instrumental music behind them and stuff. But I am obsessed with uh, that part of the song. Hold on. I kind of wish that this part of the chorus was the whole chorus rather than the rap up a pop part. Which again, I understand the rap up a pop part. It's catchy. It's it, I get it. I get it. But I kind of wish they would just have this part as like the whole chorus. <laughs> And also, like I said, they make their choreographies look so easy, but there's so much footwork and a lot of details that it's, I'm pretty sure it is not easy at all. Like, look at everyone trying to do the cha dance challenge for Get a Guitar. It's not easy. So huge props to all the members to make a choreography look easy when it is extremely difficult. So I can't wait for them to release a choreography video. I think I'm gonna do just like a mini marathon of just Rise's choreographies. So I watch, so I'll watch all their choreographies from Siren all the way to uh, Talk Sexy. And I also like how they use the word sexy. So it's kind of like saxophone and sexy. So it's, does it remind me of EXO? Mm -hmm, not necessarily, it sounds like Rise. I don't know how to, how to explain it. I think Rise definitely does have a specific sound. And I think also how their music is structured just by the songs that they have released. I'm starting to see a pattern. Now their color and their sound as a group is really starting to show. And I love that so much. So do they sound like EXO? Mm, not really. They sound like Rise. And the thing is when a group first debuts, it's very hard to understand what their song or their concept or their sound is until they've released several things. But I like that with Rise, we are really starting to hear that. And once again, that part of the chorus, it's, oh, it's golden. I love it so much. And overall, the song is great. But I wanna hear your thoughts. What do you guys think about Rise's music video and song for Talk Sexy? And do you guys have a bias already? I'm kind of torn between two members to be my bias. I'm not gonna say who just yet. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.